Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It is a bag specifically designed to hold two stamp sets. Now we are in the final week of celebration, so you need to be grabbing your goodies before the 31st of March, otherwise you're not gonna get them. Um, and you might, you might have already got quite a few and you might have duplicates, or you might have a stamping crafty friend and you wanna give them a couple of stamp sets. So this will hold two beautifully, look at that. And obviously it's a handbag, so I'm holding it. Look at that, I'm holding the weight of it. <gasps> like magic my hands underneath um, and it uses only one sheet of designer series paper for the bag and the handle because I'm that good to you okay you might be like me and literally I've got one I've got a cat desperately trying to get on the table I have got after that one just one sheet of 12 by 12 of this paper left that is it so you need to trim off a bit that is going to go in the dark the direction you want it very off you go. go 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 so we're going to cut down a piece one and a half inches wide one and a half inches four centimeters go 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 okay so so take down one and a half centimeters sorry one and a half inches pop that to one side it's going to be your handle so that's going to leave you a piece that's ten and a half by twelve if you work in metric 26 by 30 you do need to shimmy off a tiny little bit okay so on this side i cannot see my i can't see my measurements at all because the cat's walking all over them there we go she's on the floor now so on this bit so where we've just cut off a section there Still keep it this way round. Score it at one and a half and nine inches. So in metric, you're scoring at four and 22. And then turn it round the other way and score it at five and a quarter and six and three quarters which in metric you're scoring at 13 and 17. Oops, I just knocked my grid paper. There we go. Super, super easy. And like I say, absolutely perfect to hold two stamp sets. I'd love a gift that was two stamp sets. That would be really nice. I think Stampin' Up! when they do prize patrol all of their events ought to give out stamp sets in bags what do you reckon <laughs> okay so i'm folding this up so literally this is the last full sheet all i've got left after that for these bits that's all i've got left actually i haven't i've got a couple more packs i didn't want to break into a pack though okay so um you can see where it's all now folded and this bit here i'm going to cut there and there there and there and wedge a little bit so that's what i've done on this side and i'm going to repeat the same round there easy style bag i've done this numerous times and i did um one with painted seasons the other week and it's just a lovely lovely easy bag to make you wait till you see what's coming next week in the form of handbags oh my goodness even i squealed out loud okay so that bit we're going to stick that to there because obviously the butterflies they go both up and down it doesn't really make a difference so and i'm just going to use snail for speed so on the outside and then on here, we're going to go on the inside. And actually, to be fair, because this is a paper bag, it would close and hold together. And then fold that one up. And the other one. And bring this one round to line it up. I probably need to put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing better. There we go, line that up. 
and the same over here. Like that. So that's the front. Now the handle, curiously actually, I did the handle while it was still attached. I scored it as well, so the score lines were the same. You don't have to do that, it's okay. So I'm gonna, actually I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm gonna snail for speed purposes. I definitely would not be snailing a handle on. But I'm gonna put that on, over there, in the middle. And that one on as well. And you can see it will gape very slightly, so a bit like my Poppy Parade bag. Just gently bend there, and it won't. So you need two stamps. It's all up. What have I got? Part of my story. I have loved this set, and Hello Cupcake. Two favourites, and they fit in nicely with no issue whatsoever. Look at that. Bravo. Brilliant. Okay. I've decided to take a punt on these being available now and unfortunately I do have to film ahead of time because, well put it this way, you're seeing this goes live at 7 o'clock in the morning UK time. So I'm having to take a punt and hoping that these are now back in stock. If they're not, they will be coming so please don't worry. So I, this is Butterfly Gala and the Butterfly Duet Punch that was so popular it just kind of went out of stock straight away. I'm going to go with this one here and I'm going to stamp it in, oh I think that's Gorgeous Grape that back there or I don't know if it's Gorgeous Grape or if it's um, Highland Heller, we'll just, we'll go with, well do you know what, we'll do this, we'll do one in Highland Heather and I'm just going to clean this off. I stamp and scrub to one side. I showed that recently in a video. Best tool ever. I probably ought to do one of my favourite tools videos. Or a favourite tools. Or a video on my favourite tools. There you go. What do you think? Like that idea? And I'm going to come in with Wink of Stella to bleed out. That's lovely gorgeous grape I love this effect and then let's see what happens with this one not quite so much with the Highland Heather because it's not quite such a dark colour but it's still pretty with the twinkly sparkles on my first one, I used the I used the wooden shapes. They've now gone. <laughs> Everything's selling out. Seriously though, the um, stuff in the spring summer catalogue that is selling out now too. We're on wild stocks last for a lot of that. Um, so please don't miss out on anything if you'd wanted it. Okay. Let's scooch that one out of the way and bring this one back in. Check my front and back. There's the front. So I'm going to make all my butterflies fly by folding them up. I probably ought to have five because, you know, we're working odd numbers, but I'll just go with four. One there. Should we just go with three? We'll go with three. We'll not worry about that. Actually, we could put this one up on the handle, couldn't we? Up there. And that, I think, is really sweet. I love it. And like I say, perfect to hit, to hit, to fit two stamp sets. Brilliant. But like I say, you would actually know that is, the snail is holding. That is holding me, holding that. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. I hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.